Hi there, hi campers, and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 14th of February 2022 with me, Givinda Dean. Happy Valentine's Day for everyone celebrating. Um, and thanks for joining me today. So I'm going to be using the End of the Rainbow Tarot. It's a lovely, um, colourful tarot deck. And um, let's see what messages these cards have for, for you today. Okay, so let me bless our... Um, reading before we start so may the wisdom and love of my higher self and my spirit guides be revealed in this reading for us today and may such guidance show what is best and what is true om shanti 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 okay so Let's see what's going on today, the day of lovers, and see um, how we can use the energy to our advantage, what we need to know today, um, what we may be avoiding, what we, you know, any advice and guidance we can get would be uh, great today, right? So let's have a look at that. Okay, what do we need to know today, Monday, the 14th of February, 2022? What do we need to know today for Monday, the 14th of February, 2022? Oh, that's actually a messy shuffling on my part. So let's just... One more. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's have a look, shall we? And in from the bottom. Okay, right. Let's have a look then, shall we? What we've got. So instant instantly the herm is coming up there. Um starting off um so that's really talking about um focusing on ourselves focusing on those closest to us those you know that are around us uh, within our inner circle um those are the people um, we need to, to focus on more rather than what anyone else is doing. So what's coming through for today, especially for a Valentine's Day type reading, is not worry about what other people are doing, what other people are getting from their loved ones or their partners or husbands, wives or lovers. Focus on what you're doing. Focus on what you're doing with your partner or your loved one and not get into that competitive competitive state of oh my my friend is doing this and doing that and so i need to do that for my partner or we need to do that otherwise we're not valid as a as a couple do what you want do what you feels right and focus on you and your your loved one be very close uh, to each other and not focus on anyone else um moving forward on this day um it is about solitude and i say that in the way of you know don't be around other people today perhaps try and spend some time alone uh, alone with your partner if you're in a situation where you have children or you live with family members try and find that moment and that time to yourselves um where you can just be a couple you don't have to be the mother or the father or the son or daughter you can just be a loving couple um because sometimes you know we get into the day-to-day -day routine of life and we forget our identities and especially if we're in a relationship with someone we can forget that you know that essentially you are lovers and that's what drew you together really is the loving so we need to kind of strip away those titles and tags that we put on ourselves and that we have as we go through life um, to just go back to that essential it's just you and me here right now and that's 
regardless of anything else, that's the most important thing. We're zooming in and we're going down to zone zero here to you and the one who's important and focus on that. And regardless of what anyone else may be doing, um, you know, this will give a lot of happiness. Um, it will help a relationship to mature and to grow even more if we just focus on each other right now. We're also looking here at the King of Pentacles. So, you know, it it is showing that commitment. It's showing that everything is stable. Everything is secure. And, you know, there's a lot of satisfaction to be had today by giving that strength, that commitment, that we don't need to be in a rush today. You know, if you're having a, a lovely dinner with your loved one or you're planning an evening together, don't be in, in a rush to do anything. Just take things step by step. No expectations. The commitment. Show show the commitment. And by focusing on just the two of you, and that is just you and that person together, you're sh already showing them that commitment and that strength and that foundation um, coming through there. And I feel... Today, there will be more understanding in the relationship. Maybe this will facilitate some more truths to come out if they haven't been forthcoming. Someone will reveal more about what they're thinking about the relationship. So if you're in an early stage of a relationship, for example, then... This is, a, you know, as a result of focusing on the couple, focusing and showing commitment and showing just let's just be. And again, the king is about, you know, let's not do anything active. Let's not go running around to a restaurant here, then to a bar. Let's just do one, do one thing in one place. So somewhere comfortable. So if that's your home, um, if you live together or... If you don't live together, then find a place that you both find comfortable where you don't have to move from for the whole evening. It's staying put, really. It's just stay put in one place, do everything in one place or one room and and keep just just keep it simple. I think is the key here. Um, and that will facilitate conversation that will facilitate more sharing, more things to come out. Um, so if you're in the early stages of relationship and you wanted to know more about the person, they're going to be offering up some more things, what they're thinking about the relationship, etc. Um, if you're in a long-term relationship or marriage with someone, this situation today will facilitate them to express how what they're thinking, to express a bit more insight into themselves that they may not normally do. They may be quite quiet, keep things close to their chest. They may not want to naturally not because they have a hidden agenda just because they just naturally don't talk much about what they're thinking this can facilitate them to open up open up a bit more and share a bit more um you know it's a it's a day for understanding your partner a lot more if we're talking about love um that's what's really coming through here um and the nine of swords is you know what don't overthink things with valentine's day or with our partner and our loved ones we tend to overthink things a lot we tend to go into that you know the mind takes over and compares to previous relationship people you know previous years oh this year's not as good as last year or this person not doing as much for valentine's day that i that this other person did for me let's not do that because that would take us to an anxious state a state of worry and concern when there's there's, there's no need relationship is committed um is focused on just you and them and vice versa and yeah maybe some more information needs to come out some more sharing needs to happen but that's good because 
it's getting more understanding about the person. Even after 20 years, you might get more understanding about someone because you're taking the time to talk. You're taking the time to share and wanting to understand and giving that space of comfort, allowing someone to then relax and open up a bit more. So this card is really saying that when we do get this extra information, we don't need to overanalyze it. Don't take it to the mind. Just understand from the heart because this is saying that anything that we take to the mind and we start analyzing it starts ticking over in our mind oh but he said this oh but he said that what does that mean what does that mean we're going to take ourselves we're going to end up ending the night with anxiety a bit of worries and we're not going to be able to sleep well so let's not take it to the mind let's not overthink things we're sharing is is caring and it's good to share more but then Remember that what we do with that information, we don't need to overthink it today. We just need to sit with it. We just need to embrace it. Embrace the sharing more than what is being shared. Because what's being shared may not be necessarily anything massive. I'm not getting it as anything majorly important. Stuff that's been sitting there for a while. It's not anything groundbreaking. But you're, you can see that information and go, oh... I know a lot, I feel like I know a lot more about this person than I did before. And that's, and that's really amazing because you're, they're opening up and sharing things that they haven't really shared about themselves before, perhaps. Um, so it, that's, that's really an eye opener, you know. Okay, so let's look at the numerology then just to get an idea. So 9 plus 9 is 18. Plus, um, plus 14 is uh, 28, 32, and uh, 7 is thir 39, 3 plus 9, again, is 11. We're getting a lot of 11 it's coming up recently. So 11 is a creator, is someone who does get things going, spark things off. So today is a great day to spark off passion. If passion has been a bit stagnant, then we can spark off that passion. We can ins we are the ones to instigate it. We can create this caring, nurturing, um, safe, comfortable, only me and you environment. And we do need to zone out the world today. We do need to zone everyone out, put the kids to bed or put pop them off to the grandparents. Give your selves the space of just you and them just focus on you both um zone everyone else out zone friends out don't even bother to think about what friend down the road is doing for valentine's day because they may be everyone's going to be sharing on social media oh my partner didn't don't worry about what other people are doing you do what's right for you both and what feels good for you both and make it comfortable Focus on just being together and opening up and sharing more than, than you have before. And you can really instigate that. And then one and one, 11 comes into a two, which is duality and partnerships. So partnerships are going to be very, very strong and balancing today. So it's a lovely, you know, for the year of the lovers card for Valentine's Day, which in the Western culture we see as valent as a lover's day. Getting a two, talking about partnerships and two people. Doesn't matter if what's being shared is different to our beliefs or our opinions, because that's what draws us together, not the similarities, but the differences. So it's not really about the information that's being shared, it's the fact that things are being shared. That's what's more important. And it's a, you know, this all adds up to a great day for balancing your partnership putting things onto an even keel, you're together on equal pegging, on a leveled ground, secure ground, committed ground, zone in and focus on yourselves for today, because you may not give yourselves enough focus because you're busy with life, focus on yourselves today, my loves. Okay, so I hope this uh, reading resonated with you. Um, I hope you enjoy having your uh, 
Romance Love Day, Valentine's Day, whatever you like to say, the way you like to celebrate it. If you like a personal reading with me, then please click on the link in the description box below. I'm offering video and email readings at the moment. If you like this video, then click the thumbs up and subscribe and share this video on your social media. It helps me a lot to send my messages out to those who need it or seek it. And by all means, if you feel by watching this that someone you know could benefit from the messages today then please share this uh this link with them and you know help them to find my guidance as well because that's what i'm here for i'm here to share my guidance and messages for those who seek it um you can watch more videos like this by clicking the link on screen or the description box below um, and if you want to watch the weekly uh, reading, which is um, starting uh, on the 14th of uh, today, 14th of February uh, 2022, you can click on the link as well. And that will take you to uh, this this week's uh, reading, which is the collective reading for all Zodiac signs. Everyone's welcome to come in. It's just a collective general reading there. Um, also, if you uh, are a tarot reader or you're interested in tarot cards um, and you'd like to have more information about End of the Rainbow Tarot Deck, then you can click on the link below, um, which will take you uh, to be able to purchase uh, this deck if that's what you want to do. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed today and have a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Namaste and blessed be.